Hello everyone. Today we will discuss very important model for clerical prelim exams that is floor arrangement. Simple floor arrangement. In this simple floor arrangement you may be given 7 floors or 8 floors or 9 floors or 10 floors or 11 floors. It depends upon the examiner. If they want to increase the level of difficulty there will be the more number of floors. So here we are going to discuss the simple floor arrangement. Okay, and very very important for clerical prelims exams, at least in one of the slots you may expect at this model. Let's see how this kind of question will be solved and what are all the technical terms that we are going to get in floor arrangement. And what is the basic structure of floor arrangement, simple floor arrangement questions. You will be given data like this. 10 persons E F G H I J K L M N live in a 10 story building but not necessarily in the same order. How many persons? 10 persons. The ground floor is considered the first floor. The floor immediately above the ground floor is considered second floor and so on. So what will be your basic structure? Ground floor is considered first floor. Immediately above is the second floor and so on. So third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, ten floors. Now it is ten story building according to our arrangement. So in this arrangement, you need to freeze the persons with the help of the given information. So this is our basic structure. 1, 2, 3, 4 from the bottom to top. Clear? No. What kind of technical terms that we are going to get in floor arrangement? Okay. So what kind of technical terms that we are going to get, uh, get in floor arrangement means? One is above. And the next one is immediately above above or immediately above okay you may get anyone above or immediately above sometimes they may given in the arrangement both also okay below above or below or it may be immediately above or immediately below so you need to understand the difference between above and immediately above below and immediately below okay let's say a lives above b a lives above b and B lives on the fourth floor. B lives on the fourth floor. So B will come here. Definitely B lives on the fourth floor because it is a di direct information. But A lives above B. When A lives above B, fifth floor is above the fourth floor. Sixth is also above the fourth floor. Seventh is also above the fourth floor. Eighth is also above the fourth floor. Ninth is also above the fourth floor. Tenth is also above the floor. So A may come in any of these positions. That is what the meaning of above. Above means it can be anywhere above. But if they give immediately above fourth floor, immediately above the floor is fifth floor only. So A has to come in fifth floor. So you have to be careful with above and below. Similarly, not only above and below, you may get between and exactly between. Exactly between. So you have to be careful with ex between and exactly between. Now let me erase this A and B. Now A and B is not here. Now one of the statement is given. Okay. Or let me take it in detail. Let me write another arrangement. Okay. It is a 10 story arrangement, right? So 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the first point we discussed above and below. Immediately above and immediately below. Now the second one is between. They make you like this. A is between B and C. A is between B and C. When it is given A is between B and C, B may be the floor on which B lives is above the floor on which C lives or the floor on which C lives may be the above the floor on which B lives. That is not given. Just it is given the floor on which A lives is between the floors on which B and C. Now let me take B on the ninth floor and C on the fourth floor. Okay. Let us assume that. Or it may be B or C. It is C or B. Okay. Now A is between B and C. So A may come here or A may be here or A may be here or A may be here. By placing A in any of these positions, A in any of these positions, we can say that the floor on which A lives is between the floors on which B and C lives. Don't assume that three consecutive positions. That is not the right approach. Between B and C, one of the positions should be given to A. Now, sometimes instead of between, they may also give you exactly between. Okay. A is the floor on which A lives is exactly between the floors on which B and C lives. 
okay so you may get exactly between also now let us understand the meaning of exactly between exactly between is nothing but equidistant so a's floor is equidistant from b's floor and c's floor so let us assume that b is on uh, b or c is on the ninth floor and c or b is on the fifth floor between these two floor how many floors are there three floors but i need to get equidistance so equidistance from ninth floor and fifth floor is the seventh floor so a will come on the seventh floor so between b and c how many floors are gap one between a to c and b how many floors one so this is what the meaning of equidistant the floor on which a lives is equidistant from the floors on which b and c live this is what the meaning of exactly between clear so between and exactly between very very important keywords not only this you may get another technical terms let me give that also 10 story building so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 number of floors above the floor on which a lives is the same as number of floors below the floor on which b lives above is same as below b so this kind of also given which is nothing but corresponding floors from the ends 10 and 1 9 and 2 8 and 3 7 and 4 6 and 5 corresponding floors first from the front end first from the rear end that is 10 and 1 second from the top second from the bottom that is 9 and 2 third from the top third from the bottom that is 8 and 3 fourth from the top fourth from the bottom that is 7 and 4 fifth uh, sorry sixth and fifth fifth from the top fifth from the bottom now a may be here or a may be here b may be here or b may be here but corresponding positions are 10 1 9 2 8 3 7 4 6 5 i can't be the given clause we need to fix but whenever this kind of information is given you need to understand this okay corresponding positions clear and also the important clue is 10 story building 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay now here is this a a is already fixed a is already fixed now it is given a lives four floors away from b a lives four floors away from b it is given simply away but it is not mentioned whether it is above or below so when it is mentioned away you have to consider above you have to consider below and four floors away four floors away is nothing but remember that how many gaps will be there three gaps will be there or simple if it is given directly a is four floors four floors above the floor on which b lives or b lives uh, four floors above the floor on which a lives if it is given four floors above also four floors above is nothing but how many gaps will be there three gaps the meanings of these two will be same okay so if it is given n floors away remember that n floors away there will be a gap of n minus one floors will be there okay so if it is a three floors gap below i can take b or three floors gap above i can take b it can be any case okay either this case or this case but if it is given b lives four floors above the floor on which a lives this will be ruled out this case will be valid if it is given away instead of mentioning the above and below they may mention away then you need to consider both the cases if it is mentioned specifically above you need to consider only above case so if it is given four floors away three gaps three floors away two gaps and so on so these are all the technical terms that you may get and sometimes they may mention a does not live on even numbered floor it means a lives on odd number floor sometimes they will give b lives on odd does not live on odd number floor it means b lives on even numbered floor so these are all the technical terms that i am going to get in floor arrangement so please be care careful with the technical terms and now see how this question will be solved and you know right in prelims exams the clues the examiner giving in the order this is the feedback we have received from our students they are able to succeed by doing in this way clues taking in the order instead of reading the entire clues they are giving the they are reading the clues in the order and they are implementing in the arrangement practically 
and when you're going through the arrangement sometimes it leads to the possibilities but you have to be ready to write the possibilities okay no sometimes you may not fix directly in the arrangement then keep it aside whenever it is required use that but go through the clues in the order okay no 10 floor 10 story building so it is our arrangement now go through the information what is the first clue only three persons live above the floor on which k lives so above k how many will be there three so three floors so k will be on the seventh floor clear okay four persons live between the floors on which k and l live so between k and l how many will be there four floors k may be above l l may be above k but how many floors four is the above k four floors possible no so it is ruled out so this is valid so k four floors one two three four four slab and it is l okay till here it is completely utilized f lives below the floor on which l lives l is on the second floor below is the first floor only one possibility so this is f here it is f so till here it is completely utilized the number of floors above the floor on which n lives is the same as the number of floors below the floor on which j lives okay above n is same as below j which is nothing but corresponding positions you are aware of this clue above n is same as below j means corresponding positions okay 10 1 not possible because already f 9 2 not possible because already l is there and n and j are the two new persons so we require two new positions 8 3 yes possible <coughs> 7 4 not possible because already k is there 6 5 possible how many possibilities we have two possibilities okay what is given next n lives above the floor on which j lives so n lives above j n lives above j so we have how many possibilities two possibilities n on the eighth floor j on the seventh floor what is the one more case i'm sorry what is the one more case k is already in the arrangement and it is l and it is f n is on the sixth floor and j is on the fifth floor clear no what is given next neither g nor m lives on the topmost floor so it is not g not m it is not g not m neither g nor m lives on the topmost floor topmost floor is nothing but tenth floor because it is a 10 story building okay what is given next h lives exactly between the floors on which n and m live so h lives exactly between n and m so equidistant but we don't know whether n is above n or m is above n that we don't know but number of gaps between from here to here will be same as here to here if it is zero it is zero if it is one it is one okay but who will come exactly between that we don't know but n is already in the arrangement n is already in the arrangement right n is here and n is here what is next g lives above the floor on which n lives g lives above the floor on which n lives so n is here so the only possibility will be g here but in this case g may come in any one of these two places because g not lives on the topmost floor so one of these two places right and above n can you take m now no i cannot take i cannot take because m cannot be here so why should i why, how, we cannot take so leave it no n is here m cannot be here so m can be any of these two positions m can be any of these two positions m may be here m may be here but by taking m here or m here can you satisfy the condition h is exactly between n and m if you take the m here k is exactly between m and n clear if you take the m here the only scope you can take h is here then can the h be exactly between m and n no between m and h zero gaps between h and n or one gap can it be exactly between no so what i can confirm that m cannot be above m cannot be above n in any case clear so m cannot be above n in any case so what i can confirm that n will be above m am i clear to you so please you need to think logically n will be above m and between n and m who is there exactly h clear now look at here let me erase the unnecessary information 
or let me explain this point again you'll get more clarity but you need to think logically see one of these two position will be g and m is not here but we have the arrangement that n h m or m h n h is exactly between m and n right now i am i am assuming that already n in the arrangement so m is above n i am checking that whether it is valid or not it is n so the above only i can take m here but m is not here so in this case it is not possible let me check in this case it is already k and m cannot be here one of these two will be g so one of these two will be m also right if i take m here k will become exactly between m and n but h has to be exactly between m and n so m cannot be here if i take the m here if i take the m here the only possible day i can take h here and between m and h how many gaps zero but between h and n how many gaps one gap so exactly between means equidistant so is this possible no not possible so m cannot be in these two places so n m cannot be above n so m cannot be above n in both the cases so what i can confirm that n will be above m what i can confirm that n will be above m in any case okay so as we got that point let us go ahead with that point okay now n will be above m and you know right n is on the eighth floor n is on the eighth floor h should be exactly between n and m so h may be sixth floor with fifth floor or fifth fourth floor if i take the fifth floor suppose if i take h here if i take h here between n and h how many gaps one two gaps so h and m two gaps one two gaps it is already l so i cannot take the two gaps if i take h here between n and h three gaps if i take the three gaps i don't have the scope so here cannot be so the only possibility will be h here between n and h how many gaps between n and h how many gaps one gap so h and m one gap so m will be here so it is perfectly matching now in this case n is above m n is above m h can be taken any of these two places if it is a h n and h one gap h and m not possible taking one gap so not possible h here n and h how many gaps two gaps h and m you don't have that scope so this case is completely ruled out case 2 is completely ruled out i have only one case now what is the last clue i is on the even numbered floor so i is on the even numbered floor i will have with the fifth floor and the tenth floor what is the even number floor tenth floor so i will be here so who is the only remaining person e we placed in the arrangement no so this is e so e will be here so our arrangement is i g n k h e m j l f so if they want to give a difficult set in the clerical paper you will get this set clear no let's answer the questions who lives on the fifth floor who lives on the fifth floor e so my answer is e choice to once you will be able to get the arrangement answering the question will be very easy how many floors are there between uh, above the floor on which h lives h here above h four floors answer for choice one four of the following five which is nothing but odd minute and in each option you have given only one person so definitely it should be the concept of even odd floor only l even n even e or h sixth floor which is even m fourth floor which is even so all except e lives on even numbered floor so choice three if it is a two two persons given in each option you may take option like first person is above the second person first person is immediately above the second this kind of logics but if the only one person is given the only possible logic is even odd logic okay okay on which floor does j live j lives on the third floor choice four which of the following statements is definitely false they are asking for definitely false i lives on the 10th floor it is true 
but we are looking for false. N lives below the floor on which L H lives. No, N lives above the floor on which H lives. So it is false. But what is the fifth option? More than one is false. So I need to check the remaining two floors between E and L. In between E and L, how many floors? Two floors. It is true. F lives on the bottommost floor. It is also true. So more than one is false. No. So my answer is second option. Choice two. So please keep practicing the floor arrangement questions, and we will discuss one more floor arrangement with flats in another session. Okay, so that is also new model puzzle we are giving regularly in the prelims exam. Three floors, two flats. Four floors, two flats. Five floors, two flats. That we will discuss in the another session. Okay. So these are the two models that you will get in prelims. One is the simple floor arrangement, and one more with the floors and flats. So floors, simple floor arrangement is discussed. We'll discuss the floors and flats also in one more session. Okay. Thank you for joining this session. Have a nice day.